your sister is your blood dude like as much as you can always talk to friends about situation situations no one's gonna have your back like your sister because you can talk to your friend about something and be open to your friend about something that friend has her other friends and that friend could tell their other friends whatever you're going through that could be personal and private so when you talk to your sister like, where is she going to badmouth me? Because we're in the same roof. The struggles we go through within this household are both of our struggles. Hey sweeties, it's your girl CYK and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for joining me once again. As you guys can see from the title of this video today, we are doing a sister tag, which is why I have my beautiful little sister right next to me. For those who are OGs, you guys already know her as she was on one of my very first videos and she's back again because so many people have been asking her to come back and i have made it happen but before we get into the video please don't forget to follow me on my socials also do follow my sister if you like this video please give it a huge thumbs up have anything to say drop it down in the comment section below and if you have not subscribed do the right thing and subscribe to my channel because I don't know what you're waiting for. We're on the road to 5K, not 4K. 4K, Sophia says Lula. We're on the road to 5K, so do subscribe so you can join the gang. You know what I mean. Let's get into the video. Thanks. We ended up getting so many, like, questions from you guys. So I've decided that we're just going to answer your guys' questions because it's a mixture of what would have been in the initial questions and just a little bit of spice from you guys. So, yeah. So the first question is, how many years are you guys apart? I'm 18 and she's 16. So basically two years, um, one year and a few months, but two years. We're rounding off. Um, do you guys relate to an extent where you could say you guys' characters are the same? Yeah, I think we do. Here and there. Here and there. I feel yeah, like I'm definitely. the more extroverted version of us and she's the more introverted. But then again, it's always the case of when I see her with other people that she's used to, like her friends and stuff, I see so much of myself in her. Yeah, I get what she's saying. Like, when she, when she doesn't like know I'm, I'm there even. Like, diff I wouldn't say different. You are, there's though. certain things I do outside that I wouldn't really do at home. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> I do, but do you get what I'm saying? Guys, don't mind my voice. I'm sick. Do you guys ever have a bit of sibling rivalry? If so, how do you guys get past it? No, I feel like I'm not competitive at all. Nah, dude. If anything, I feel like... Because I feel like we understand each other in terms of goal-driven, like having a vision yeah, and yeah. what... like. If I have to explain my YouTube things to her and how badly I want something, like she understands because she yeah. has her set of goals that she also wants badly. Yeah. So I wouldn't say like we have like sibling rivalry. It's more of like each yeah. other's cheerleader. What's your favorite thing about each other? <laughs> I like how ambitious she is. Like, she's very young, but sometimes, like, the yeah. conversations we have in terms of, like, what we want to do in the future or, like, what we're looking into. Like, I love the vision that she already has for herself. Yeah, definitely. I also like that. About me? Um, yeah, you also, have, like, we both have that within us, like, naturally. Mm. Um, with you, it's just your, your vibe and your energy within everything that you do, you know? Tada! <laughs> Tada! Ah! 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 <laughs> yeah. But I you just love it. Thank you. What does your sister do that annoys you? I think you can start about me. Uh, it's so long. <laughs> um. Okay. Sometimes she doesn't listen to me. Like she ignores me, um, and that really annoys me. Mm. 
Yeah, I don't like it. Is that all? Um, or is that all? That's all you can think of right that's now. That's all I can think of. Um, I feel like she already has the set perception of me that no, even I don't. listen that even when we like within arguments she doesn't look at the situation as it is she'll say you always do this you always this you always that you don't listen you don't what even if in this scenario I'm not all of those things. No. Yes, and then you do the same thing mom does. No, I feel like you it's, judge it's you one judge straight. the current situation based on everything else that has happened and no, everything else that, that I've done. I feel like that's for the me thing it's... you think oh, you don't okay, do that. Okay. But if you don't want to listen to me then it's fine. She's doing it right now. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Now we both do things that annoy us right yeah. now. So we when are you post. guys traveling daily and when are you posting on the K sisters? <laughs> <laughs> guys, when we started the K sisters, we like the K sister page for yeah. those who don't know, it's somewhere in my bio. Anyways, Same. when we started that page, it was like chilled vibes. Like we wanted to post chilled, you know, not crusty as such, but like really mm. chilled photos in comparison to like what we usually post on our feeds. And then again, we realized that if we start this page, like it's going to become a brand. It's going to be yeah. like who we are, like the case sisters, this is their page. So then again, we had started creating the standard that no, like these pictures need to be proper. Like yeah. the fee needs to be proper. And we haven't really had time to like take pictures together that are proper. Cause I feel like we always, every time we take pictures, it's like, I'm, already i already have a picture of what i want for my instagram feed and you want your pictures and then we end up forgetting about the cases the page because i think in the case sisters, right, we're not only right going to like post pictures we might post like igtvs or like yeah, pictures and stuff but it's basically just us sharing our sisterhood so yeah and when are you mm -hmm. traveling i don't know when you asked this question but we recently went to cape town yeah um we manifesting that we go overseas next year manifestation and the content you, you guys will see. Manifestation. I don't know, okay. We manifest <laughs> differently, I guess. <laughs> no, wait, do the kind of mean that? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Do the kind of mean that? Yes. Oh, I don't know that. Gosh. Have you fought before, like cat fighting? Yeah, but like when we were younger. Yes, dude, like when we were younger, I remember. I don't remember. Dude, I beat you up so bad. I think Ngathlani said no dong. How aggressive could you possibly Dude, like that was when we were like really younger. No, I don't remember. Yeah, because then we learned. Ningazi Jail, if people like myself scream and hug you guys, I'm scared of you guys. Why would people be scared of us? Oh my gosh, why would you be scared to greet us? We're just we're like we're just ordinary girls. We're just like your girl next door. Uh, we know bodies. I... <laughs> <laughs> like we know bodies. It's told vibes. That's a bit like we're not like <laughs> just because it's girl next door. Okay, it's fine. It's I so what extra. You're to say, but... Yeah, but like we're human, like there's nothing, there's really nothing special about us. Okay, there is, but not in that way, a good see. Uh the case sisters or anything like that. Nah. What do you guys fight the most about? Um what do we fight up the most about? I don't know. We fight about really basic things. And then they become a huge situation because Definitely. she starts um she had to say I star. <laughs> no, like, listen. She so, couldn't just say I star. No, yeah. listen, dude. This is what happens. It it goes from a small situation, it becomes a huge thing because it goes from okay, cool, we're arguing about this specific thing, and then she starts criticizing who I am as a person. I promise you, dude. It's like okay, let's deal with the situation. I'm not the problem. The situation is the problem, and you fail to detach the two things. Okay, see, I feel I like that's a big energy to fight you. So it's we fine. don't fight it. Uh, what are your life goals? By the way, I love you. Thank you. Uh, life goals. I don't know. I have so many. Yeah. But like it's for so me, it's like, grow, like right now, I can be like growing my socials because I feel like whatever I'm going to do in the future has so much to do with like social media mm -hmm. and not only like social media, also like the entertainment industry as like a whole. Yeah. And then obviously I also want to do like a lot of 
business things that probably may never be seen by the public eye. I don't want to get into details because, yeah. Yeah. But I feel like for me, I won't really like be specific into something, but I just feel like my goal is to just be happy and financial security. Yes, girl. You know? Yeah, those are the vibes. <laughs> Happiness and, yeah. Period. Okay, next question. Do you guys ever wish you were the only child? Yes. Plus, I'm the firstborn, so everything just makes so much sense for me to even think that way. Mm. Like, certain things would happen, I'd be like, I wish I was the only one. But then again, I feel like I'd get, like, really bored. Obviously. Like, I, I can see how great us having each other is going to be in the future. Okay. Like, even now, it's great and stuff, but sometimes when it's eager. But, like, in the future, I can see it being such a great thing. Yeah, I get what you're saying. But, yeah... Are you and your little sister open about relationships with each other? She's open to me. I have yeah. nothing. I never have anything to share. So. For me, like, guys, I feel like this child knows everything. Yeah, I do know everything. I feel like she knows everything. Yeah. Every DM I've received, every no, text not I've ev received. No, stop lying. Not everything. <laughs> no, but dude, like, you know everything there is to know. Yeah. Like, I feel like no friend of mine knows... No, but there's Everything certain things that end up finding out that I actually wasn't. How? No, like you don't tell me, but I end up knowing eventually. Yeah. I'm but so you confused. But you, like, you tell me, let's say 90%. 95. Mm -mm. 90%. Oh. Solid. <laughs> Who's mommy's girl? Who's daddy's girl? She's daddy's. I'm mommy's girl. Like, I argue a lot with my mom. And yeah. I feel like it has everything to do with our star sign. But we love each other. But, like, when we love each other, we really love each other. And then when we just mad at each other, we really just mad at each other. That's my relationship with my mom. But, yeah, I'm quite yeah, tight with my mom. A lot of my friends say that even. But you daddy's. I'm mommy's. Yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, you guys are beautiful. Thank ya. Uh, what are you guys? What are you guys' differences? I'm guessing that's what this person wanted to say. Um, I'm always I've, right. She's always wrong. That's the difference. Okay. Okay. I'm joking. Talk. I think our differences would be that. What do you think today? Since I appear to be more um, reserved, what else? There's so many guys. Yeah, there's so many things. Like, we're similar, but we're very different, too. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Are you that protective sister, or you don't mind your little sister dating? I think you should answer this. Do you think I'm a protective sister? Um, no, you just always want to know things like you just want to be i want to act i'm not gonna even lie like i always want to act like that protective sister because everyone's always like oh, i'm fit to me i know you and because i've said things no, like, but I feel like she's never gonna like date till varsity i'd be like <laughs> no like i did i act like i have these set rules for her no. but she knows that i, I don't mean it to a set and to yeah, a set talk. like if you do it like i'm i'm you know gonna yeah. trip and stuff but it's always like I, I want the best for her and i don't want her to make the same mistakes i made like she can make them but it's like uh do not intentionally don't dive into a pool no but i feel like i'm woke <laughs> no like i don't i like i just genuinely know what's good for me and yeah i just true. make the choices that i feel like true are gonna be because i feel like no matter i can be the most protective like I, sister ever but you still have times where i'm not like around i just know what i still do whatever like, yeah i just know what i'm happy with so it's just a matter of okay i just i feel like it's so easy to make choices when you know what you want or you know what you're happy with mm. so for me i just I'm just, and you know yourself. It's just va va va. That was just all vibes. And yeah, it's chilled. What's the best life advice you that shaped your sister? What do you think so, this is the best life advice that shaped me? Mm, just to be unapologetic. Mm. 
I think that that could be uh, that could be it. No, but that like a lot of the things surround just being yourself mm. and, like, and being like confident and being yeah. like. Being I'd like say the same. I'd, be, I'd say the same about you, especially this year. I've seen so much growth in you this year. I feel like especially because like you went to a new school and you met so many people. And in such a short space of time, you're able to grow within that environment and actually even flourish. Yeah, I think I like you were thrown really into the deep end. <laughs> <laughs> this was supposed to be sentimental, girl. And you're just like, <laughs> you get me though. Like, are you understanding what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Okay. Advice for big sisters struggling to have an open conversations with their little sister. So am I... Okay, I feel like I can say something and you can say something too. I feel like... Your this... sister is your blood, dude. Like, as much as you can always talk to friends about situation situations no it's gonna have your back like your sister because you can talk to your friend about something and be open to your friend about something that friend has her other friends and that friend could tell their other friends whatever you're going through that could be personal and private so when you talk to your sister like where is she gonna bad mouth me because we're in the same roof the struggles we go through within this household are both of our struggles do you get me so like like, I feel dude, like that's like how we've always been like brought up. Yeah, mom's always taught us that, dude. Like, friends come and go, sister or siblings. That's like that's blood. Like my mom always says, the three of you guys, you guys are gonna have each other's backs even when we're gone. So, because once we're gone, we're gone. No one's gonna have your guys' back like you guys. Yeah, express. Um, what was it like doing drummies together? It was nice in the sense of I remember my leader days, um, when I was leader in my drum major team because I was leader for three years, but only the last two years you were there, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was nice to have the thing of my sister would come up to me and be like, "Good luck, like, go do your best, show them who you are," like, and it felt so genuine. Like as much as a friend can say it, my coach can say it. Like when my sister says it, it's just like, dude. You know me inside out, you know my struggles, you know my pain, you're not going to judge me. And this is coming, it feels like a blessing, like a blessing that, dude, I don't, I don't even, I do get me though. Like, it seems like, so it just felt really great. Like, that feeling of my sister's like marching with me. Like, that feeling of my sister's like marching with me on that field and we were doing this together and the nice part is like we're both really good at the sport that we're doing which is drum majorettes so i never went onto that field worried how she was gonna do do you get me like it was the case of i know what she's song in a party see rocket because then i see a rocker you know the vibes it's a color some colors period so yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The favorite child. Mm, I feel like everyone has a moment where they feel like the favorite child. But I feel like our parents really try to make us feel equal. Do both of you have the same taste in men? Maybe. I don't, I don't know. know. We'll see. We still have to see what her life, love life, is going to look like. Because it hasn't started. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you disrespect me, eh? Hey? You just was like, this girl, guys, okay, it's fine. And then people always like, ah, but she's probably hiding things from me. Guys, there's nothing this child is hiding from me. I know everything. Okay. How often do you guys fight every chance we get? I'm joking. Like, if, we're in, we if, if we're in a space together for a really long time, the smallest thing could bring up an argument. So That's true. Could create an argument. So, yeah. Do you guys tell each other literally everything about each other? I don't tell her everything. You don't? I hate to break it to you, man. Nah. <laughs> There's nothing I need to know that I don't know, basically. But. Guys, I'm guys, I'm confused, okay, yeah. guys. What about you? I think I tell you everything. No, almost everything. Obviously, I can't tell you certain things because we ain't got any. But almost everything. You think? 
you are and the lead woman that you are. Okay, mm -hmm. there's so many questions here. I'll pass it some. And you see, okay. eh? how do you feel when your sister is not around? When I'm in Joburg. Uh, I do miss her. Yeah, I feel like it depends. When it's like really, like when it's been a really long time, just like, e yeah, then I miss you. But then it's chilled because we usually talk. It's really not that deep because I know that you, I'm going to see you and you're going to come back. It's yeah. chilled more questions but they're just really repetitive they just right. ask in different ways what's the favorite cherishable memory you have of us um, like your favorite one cape town was nice recently went to cape town that was nice got to actually spend time together it was quite cute yeah I feel like I can't really put one to it. Yeah, there's a lot. So we have reached the end of this video. Thank you so much to all the people that sent out the questions. We hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Please don't forget to like, to comment, and to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on my socials. And also, do follow my sister. It's your girl, C.O.K. And I am out.